Hey guys, this is Clockwork Koala here, and this time, since uh, reviving the channel, playing some uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which is fitting because the channel's being reborn. Get it? It's funny. Aww. Random buddy, rainbow wavy. But, uh, yeah, this game is uh, really fun. If you haven't played it, check it out for yourself. But, uh, doing that real quick. I'm not the best at this game, but I really do love it. I like to check everything before I move on to make sure that everything is going my way. Pretty good luck so far. Nice, uh, nice spread. Some, uh, range and then whatever that was that I already forgot. Unless that was another... Was that range in tears? I don't know. But, uh... Bringing back some games and starting with some Binding of Isaac. I plan on maybe doing a Binding of Isaac episode every Sunday. Just because I don't want to stop playing the game because I love it, and I don't know. I uh, think that it'd be fitting for it to be on a Sunday, but uh, because <laughs> I don't want to do one mo more than one episode a week because I feel like that might be a little overkill. But if you guys really enjoy it, then I can uh, I can bring it out more than uh, Sundays. It's up to the reception of how the game is taken. But so far, this is a pretty damn well decent start. Let's go to the arcade, because why not? I'm not the best at this game, I'm not the worst. So, there's going to be the tough times. I already got Lazarus. Alright. There's going to be the tough times, and then there's going to be the super easy, how the fuck did I manage to get this lucky times. Which hopefully that can be this run, because it's starting to look like it. I mean, I got Pageant Boy, which isn't that good, but... Oh well. I mean, early on it's not that bad. Ooh, might have to come back for that later. So, uh, how, how are you guys doing? It's been like three or four months since I uploaded last. Hoping to, holy fuck, I love technology too. This is, we're going to win this. I almost guarantee that we're going to win this. <sighs> Especially since we have a uh, little the rainbow buddy we can get just about any effect going if you guys want to teach me as much as you can in the comments and whatnot i have been playing for a while so some of it might not be new but i'm open to reading whatever i can learn like there's those temporary hearts i know that like some of the items i don't know what they do some of the descriptions are fairly uh, cryptic. And I've mainly played the original as opposed to Rebirth. I played the hell out of the original. And I've barely, like, even caught up on Rebirth at all. That's why I love technology, too. That is why that unlocked two things in one run so far nice tears and shot speed up that's awesome good that was helpful uh, I don't want either of those so those basically you just Sacrifice one of your permanent hearts to get to the uh, 
<laughs> devil item. And those rooms have a higher chance of spawning based on uh, how much damage you took during the boss fight, if I remember correctly. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Because I'm sure a lot of things have changed from the original to Rebirth, so... I'm pretty hyped that they're making a uh, new... Uh, I don't know if it's an expansion or an update, but... Afterbirth is a thing that they're working on. I love all of Edmund McMillan's games. Granted, I'm not that good at most of them, but I love them. I have no idea what this does. What is this? Spider bite slow effect. Alright, so that does work with it. Now I just have a constant stream of white. Good. Good. This is totally normal, guys. This looks so bad. Alright, what am I missing? I am playing this on the PS4 because I got it for free on that, like, when it came out. And I haven't got it on the PC yet, though I prefer the PC. How the PC plays compared to uh, PS4. But... Might as well play it for free rather than paying $15. I mean, I would love to get it on PC eventually, but uh, for right now, since it's easier for me to record on PS4 anyways, I thought I'd just stick with this. And maybe in the near future I'll get it on PC and whatnot, but I probably won't be recording on that since I have a, a save file for this one already. So basically how I'm going to run these, I guess, are just... I'm not even going to risk it, it's not going to be worth it, I guarantee it. How I'm going to run these, I plan on, uh, like I said, one uh, a Sunday. It's not going to be like timed like the other ones are, like and have a general cutoff time. It's more just going to be one whole run until I die. Unless I die in like the first floor, then I'll restart, but... Because I feel that's fair enough. As long as it goes further than 10 minutes, it should be fine. I don't see anywhere the secret room could be. Actually, yes, I do. Nope. I lied. Do not see anywhere. All right, let's go for the boss. Omega Fatty, I... He's got some pretty good defense, if I remember correctly. Ugh. He's, uh... Just shoots shit at you and bleeds from his eyes, that's good. He only has one... Wait, what? He has one bottom tooth there, and then he has two there? Or is that... The bottom tooth and then the beginning of the line of top teeth not sure anyways the uh, art style I love that it's so pretty it's super simplistic and amazing I love it <sighs> I already look like a he big heaping mess of Isaac. Oh, I don't remember what those do. Uh, I'm not going to risk it just yet. I don't want to uh, do any deals with the devil unless there's one that I know is super good just now just because I know I've got a bunch of stuff that uh, I like item wise and I don't want to risk it right yet I want to try and have the first episode be a successful f fight to the end 
just to uh, start on a good note, you know. And I don't feel like I have enough uh, speed or whatnot to risk losing health permanently. If you want to tell me what those items do, that'd be awesome. I'd love to learn. If not, then oh well. Damn it. That was stupid on my part. I could have uh, avoided that. Oh, what's this? Gemini. Oh, I love Gemini. Worth it. Let's see. Where's the item shop? That was epic. Did I see the item shop yet? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Alrighty then. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely entering the item shop when I find it. Boo 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 boo. Uh, yeah, the uh, channel should be more consistent with the uploads now that uh, I'm less busy. So, got some other projects that I'm working on. Like, I have a band. So, if you guys are interested in that, feel free to check it out. But. Oh, it just started, so it's not really anything yet. But that's something I'm working on. A blue map. Um, what else is going on? Damn it. Damn it! One coin off. I don't even know what that little jar does. But, uh... Oh, too tired to think of anything right now. All I know is that I'm close to the end. I think I'm halfway. Maybe further than halfway. One of the three. One of the three. Alright. Just kill him, take him out. Alright. So let's see what our boss is. Looks like a double. Great. Monster is not that bad. Two of them isn't that bad either. I don't, didn't notice if. I don't think I got hit by that, but I couldn't tell. Especially with the uh, technology, too, it's not anything difficult at all. It's just stand a distance away and hope let them uh, run into your shots. Little chubby! Yes, HP up. I personally like to go more for the uh, permanent hearts rather than the uh, spirit hearts. Cause uh, I unlocked Eve as well, nice. Two characters and two items and or three items in one run. The first run, not too uh not too shabby if you ask me. Not too shabby. Like anything could have been better, could have been worse, but I'm not complaining. Don't wanna run into the toxic blood. Gluttony. Fuck. That was stupid. Why did I get hit by that? Fight like fights like this with the uh, more HP, sweet. Like that where the uh, goes in a straight line, the brimstone shots that f I find using technology to be annoying. 
Ooh, key. Why would I spend a key just to get a heart? I mean, unless I'm at one heart, it seems highly illogical to me. But for the golden poops, though, that's pretty damn important. Alright, I want to find the item shop. I'll just call it the shop because that makes sense, too. Don't know what this does, but I think it's worth it. So it just uh, goes around and blocks projectiles like the little fly guy that I have. Sweet. I've never seen that before. And I've played a bunch. I don't usually do these rooms, so it might that might be why too. Why I haven't seen it. Are there items that spawn specifically in here and don't spawn anywhere else? I'm not sure. Probably. That would make sense, but... I don't know. These skeletons are like the most annoying thing to me. Like, they shoot their shot way too fast for me to react. Especially if I don't have uh, upgraded speed. Or at least for my playstyle, they're the most annoying. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? You convert your soul. So this item, if I remember, if I have uh, the soul hearts or spirit hearts, I don't remember which ones they're called. The uh, blue hearts. If I have two or two and a half or something like that, I can convert it into f actual health. I'm not entirely sure how many. I just know that's what it does. Or is it three? It might be three. But since I didn't have any uh, use usable items not uh, the passive items I thought might as well because I had a bunch of those blue hearts at the very beginning maybe I'll have be lucky enough to get a ton more which may or may not be the case it's not like I would know right now shit get your old maggot ass away from me I need two hearts, now I need one. Oh sweet, this is looks like an easy room. What you got for me over here? Oh shit, he was a skeleton in disguise. So was he! You're not a skeleton in disguise, because you're good. You're a skeleton in disguise too, you f stupid creep. Alright, that wasn't too bad. This one run is probably going to make me look better than I am at the game. <laughs> like, clearly I have experience. If you've never played the game before, you're probably not going to get this far on your first run. But, I'm not doing too bad either. I'm not doing bad, I'm not doing insanely amazing. It could be worse. I have not fought these guys before. It looks like detached Gemini, but if you're only experienced with... Okay. This is... Uh, well, tears up, why not? Oh shit. If your only experience with Binding of Isaac is from uh, watching mine, I highly doubt that. But if it is, then you don't know who Gemini is, unless you've played one of others. 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All I know is I'm close to the end because this is the last floor for now. Mom's hands, why you be like this? They're like the uh, wall masters from Legend of Zelda and they've just got like a rare spawn rate, I guess. I'm not sure what the spawn rate is. And I'm pretty sure it's the further you get down, the more common it is. I'm not sure. This game is just a bunch of mysteries. Let's go for a secret room. Secret room. Nice. So far, the uh, converter is uh, a waste. Why would I give up a key just to get a key? That seems really stupid to me. <laughs> eh, why put effort into it when you can just have everything pan out and for you? I can't convert it. Uh, why the fuck not? I'm not sure what this bum friend does. I had it once and never had a chance for it to do whatever it does, so... It's a secret to me. I, like, died instantly the last time I got it. So maybe it's a bad luck charm. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I know luck is a factor in this game, because it's got a meter for it. Maybe I can convert. There we go, I converted. Sweet. Because sometimes it seems like it takes two, and sometimes it seems like it takes three. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Oh god! I should not have ran into those spikes. I was more paying attention to the enemies. And hitting the enemies. Which was not good. Not good. Fuck. Stop hitting me, skulls. Don't chomp my brains out. I need those. So I can win. Fucking hell. Stop. You skull. Oh god, I need to find somewhere I can get some hearts. That was a horrible room. Good thing I got it over with while I had health. So I didn't get in there and die instantly. Yeah, I've got nothing to lose. Nope. Oh well. Please, hearts. Mama needs a new pair of hearts. Give me some awesome luck. Eh, that works too. Is this a new floaty buddy? Headless baby! That's pretty sweet. Headless baby? Aw, oh, sweet health. On an arcade, I can probably get some health back from this. Give me some health. Need a heart? Maybe more than a heart. That'd be awesome. I find myself tending to get better luck from the slot machine rather than this guy over here. So that's why I just don't bother with him anymore. Though he can get you some pretty good stuff if you get lucky enough, if I remember correctly. Come on, give me a damn heart. Fuck you. I just want a heart. Is that too much to ask for? 
Well, that's over with. Well, that was a good run. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> if I don't get any money or hearts... Well, I have to fight the boss here. Though I know who the boss is because it's not randomized on the uh, this floor, so... Spoilers. Worth a shot. I know who it is, but not going to spoil it just in case you don't know. Ah, uh, it was worth a shot, too. There's only one other place I could see it being, and it's not there, so. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, Mom. Ow, you horror such a bad mom why are you such a bitch all right focus mode oh fuck all right that wasn't too bad i uh got a lot of good stuff didn't get any hearts if i had more hearts i would have won that but Stupid moves on my part. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.